Hi guys, quarter 4 pa rin tayo. So ngayon is grade 5 math naman yung pag-aaralan natin, module 1. Kahapon is grade 4 math. So ngayon is grade 5 math, module 1, lesson 1, area of a circle. So ito yung circle natin. Tatandaan natin na ang ating circle, galing dito sa gitna, papunta sa gilid, is tinatawag natin itong radius. And then, galing dito sa gilid, papunta naman sa kabila, is tinatawag natin itong diameter. Meron tayong formula sa pagkuha ng area ng circle. So, area is equal to pi radius squared. So, ang value ng ating pi is equal to 3.14. Hindi hindi magbabago ang value ng ating pi. So, constant yan siya. So, meron tayong example dito. Find the area of a circle with a radius of 6 cm. So, ano nga ulit yung formula natin in finding the area of a circle? Area is equal to pi radius squared. So, ngayon is isolve na natin ang area ng ating circle. So, area is equal to ano yung value ng ating pi? Ang value ng ating pi is 3.14 Multiplied by the radius, ano yung given natin? 6 cm. So, 6 cm squared. So, 3.14, kopyahin lang natin si 3.14. 6 cm squared means 6 cm, i-multiply mo siya sa kanyang sarili na 6 cm. So, kopyahin ulit si 3.14. And then, 6 times 6 is equal to 36 cm times cm is equal to cm squared. So, i-multiply na natin si 3.14 kay 36. So, 3.14 multiplied by 36. Okay, so 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Carry 2. 6 times 1 is equal to 6 plus 2 equals 8. 6 times 3 equals 18. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Carry 1. 3 times 1 is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, i-add na natin. Bring down 4, 8 plus 2 equals 10, bring down 0, carry 1. 1 plus 8 is equal to 9, plus 4 is equal to 13, bring down 3, carry 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, plus 9 is equal to 11. I-count natin kung ilang decimal point meron tayo. So 1, 2. So mag-count din tayo dito, 1, 2. So dito yung decimal point natin. So ibig sabihin, 3.14 times 36 centimeters squared is equal to 113 0.04 cm squared. So, ito na yung area ng ating circle kung saan merong 6 cm na radius. Another example tayo, find the area of a circle with a diameter of 6 cm. So, pansinin nyo na ang given natin is 6 cm, uh, 6 cm na diameter. So, diameter yung given natin at ang ating formula is equal to area pi radius squared. So, in order na makuha natin ang value ng ating radius, natatandaan natin ang diameter is from one end to another end. So, ibig sabihin ang half ng diameter is equal to radius. So, ibig sabihin si diameter, i-divide natin by 2 para makakuha tayo ng value ng ating radius. So, radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. So, radius is equal to ano yung value ng diameter natin? 6. So, 6 divided by 2 so, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang radius natin is 3 cm. So, ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-solve dahil meron na tayong radius. So, area is equal to pi r squared. Area is equal to ang value ng ating pi is 3.14. And then, multiplied by our radius, which is 3 cm. 3 cm squared. Okay? So, 3.14, kopyahin lang natin. And then, 3 cm squared means... 3 cm, i-multiply mo siya sa kanyang sarili. Kopyahin ulit si 3.14. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Centimeter times centimeter is equal to 9 centimeter squared. So ngayon, i-multiply na natin si 3.14 kay 9. So 3.14 multiplied by 9. 9 times 4 is equal to 36. Carry 3. 9 times 1 is equal to 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. Carry 1. 9 times 3 is equal to 27 plus 1 is equal to 28. So, i-count natin ang ating decimal point. 1, 2. So, mag-count din tayo sa ating sagot. 1, 2. So, ibig sabihin ng ating sagot is 28.26 cm squared. So, ibig sabihin ang area ng ating circle kung saan merong diameter na 6 cm is equal to 28.26 cm squared. O di ba napakadali lang isolve ang area ng circle? Ang susunod nating lesson is ang lesson 2 which is solving routine and non-routine problems involving the area of a circle. See you on our next lesson. Bye!